Hello guys, in this video I'll show you the last update I made for Magic Portal. I recreate the creation of Unreal Engine Eric. So with this new way we can get a better result with autofix for the fingers. So we will never get any wrong rotation for fingers and we don't need to use pose matching anymore. But we still can use it for uh, control for more control how uh, the character will look in Unreal Engine if you want if we want to use it. I download this character from Sketchfab, and we see this character not working. I will use the new software from Real Realution. I think I cannot pro pronounce it correct. I think Real Realution. <laughs> I think okay. Uh, I will use the software for rig this character and convert it with the Magic Point tool to use it in Unreal Engine uh, Five. Okay, let's see with the software for our character. Okay, we see some issues with the shoulder. We can fix it. Or we do not need to fix it. We have some issues with the skin. We can fix this in Blender or any software that you use. Okay, let's just export it for Blender. Okay, let's import our character. And we see the character is too small, and we don't know how the uh, scale to uh, Unreal Engine. I added a new feature, it's just simple box, to show us how big our character to compare to Unreal character, and set up uh, uh, the units for us automatically here in units. Let's just use it. We see just a simple box, and tell us how big our character must be compared to Unreal Engine character. We see our character just too small. And we have animation. We must remove animation. And very important, we must remove any animation before we create the rig. Let's scale our character. Okay. Apply all transparent. We don't need a uh, response, so we'll hide them. We see here some uh, problem with the, the how spine block. It's uh, because of our character has a complex shape, so uh, not recognized by uh, auto rig uh, and give us a good result so we can fix this by hand. Okay. That can't come from now. Okay. Now let's name my to be and this break or an Now we will select our armature and set it. 
Okay, now we can select our bonds that uh, to be as Unreal Engine uh, bonds. Can we see this bond? Uh, uh, we will not use this bond. We will use this bond because this control entire leg. We just use this as a type bond. And this one for twist. I will I will use this one as a twist one because we have only one. So I will select one. Okay. And this one control entire leg. Let's hide this. Finish the decoration of the rig. Let's clean the rig. Okay, then the process of creating the rig has been done. Let's export it to under energy. Okay, let's import our button. Let's show As we see, as we see the character, but I don't like how the shoulders looks. It's more up. So I update my add-on with better uh, pose matching system. So now we can get a better result with uh, the bone that we want uh, to select. So only select the bone that we want to fix or adjust uh, the, position, the position of the bone. So let's uh, back to Blender and show you how to edit uh, the shoulders. As we see, I update the interface for the add-on and edit the post editor for uh, post matching 
with the new section so we can control uh, the character uh, freely with the, the section and keep the up section for creating the character. We can only uh, use create uh, Unreal Engine Rig and we get a, a good trick without need to use post matching because this is a new method or uh, I update the, the way of creating the Unreal Engine Rig. But uh, now we will use post matching. I'm updating the post matching with a, a new method too. So we can fix uh, some problems or calls that uh, we need to adjust uh, how the look of our character. As we see in Unreal Engine, we see the uh, shoulders or clavicle are they are uh, more up. So let's just uh, use pose matching. But before we use pose matching, uh, we see I added uh, pose matching options. So so we can select only the one that we want to make it a uh, pose matching with Unreal Engine. So uh, now we need only the club card. We we'll need how the, uh, the club card looks in engine. So we will fix it uh, to be exactly as we want to look in engine. So let's turn off all other ones. And we only the club card. And we use the voice matching. We see the, or before we do, let's hide our original character or amateur. And we leave only the points uh, for uh, adjust the cost. We see how the graphical uh, look in engine. It's similar to uh, in Blender and engine. They are same look, so we can uh, fix how they look in the engine before we export. So we'll fix this problem or the. Uh, it's just the preferences if you want to fix it or to leave it. But I see the club colors more up, so we make them uh, making them in a relaxed mode. So we just select because I'm selecting only uh, club uh, the other fonts. We don't do anything for adjustments, adjust the other fonts for matching. Now we only select the uh, club color. Let's enable more and make it more relaxed. Like this, or like this. Now, just uh, good looks. We just now apply the or apply what. Now we apply the boss. This is how the character will look in Unreal Engine. So let's just we co uh, create that. Okay. Now the creation of the complete. Let's export our character. Let's replace the old one. And before we re import, let's uh, show you again how the shoulder looks. So let's just re import our character with the, the how they re import. Now we see the result. The shorts are more uh, in good shape and more. Uh, uh, I don't know how to explain because my English is not good. So, as we see, it's just uh, better than previous pause and with natural pause. And, and, and when I convert. In the bones, I'm not selecting uh, the uh, the fingers because to make a video not be uh, very long. So as we see the character, everything works. And thank you for watching.